All right, guys. Uh, in this video, I'm going to do like a unboxing, overview, review of uh, this knife here I've got. It's a uh, K bar, K bar knives. It's uh, Johnson Adventure Blades designed, and it's the Game Stalker. Box in a box. Comes with the sheath and some paperwork that may have changed because I've had this knife for a couple years now. Um, knife is itself is made in America. Sheath is made in China. It's got like a Velcro strap around it. It's got this button on it, holds it in pretty good. And the sheath itself, it's got uh, this pocket. I assume it's probably for like a uh, sharpening stone to fit down in there. And it's got this little piece of paracord on it with a uh, molly style. You can attach it to a molly gear. Okay, enough for the sheath. Let's get on the blade. It's a four inch blade. I believe it's 440A stainless. Um, it's got, they call it the Adventure Grip Grips. <laughs> Texture grip, it uh, really helps out the hold. You get some jimping here and here and for your thumb, kind of like that, or your finger up here when slicing I guess that's intended for probably like when you're field dressing you know holding the skin back and little motions it's a extremely sharp blade hollow ground on it I was really impressed with all that a um, couple little few small details I noticed about this just on the finish if it's going to focus in on it or not. Well, right here on the edge of the blade, you can see that small little bit. There's another piece, another mark right there. I mean, it's not, doesn't really mean a whole lot, but just, uh, Little details I found in the finish, you know. Now, I did. I have used this knife um, two occasions. This past fall, I did help uh, or use this butchering uh, one deer, and then deer that I harvested this year, I used it field dressing. And I was really impressed with how strong that and sharp that blade was. I actually managed to cut and pry through the pelvic bone with it. And it's still just about as sharp as it was when I first received it, or first purchased it. I have not sharpened it any. I haven't felt the need to. Um, these grips, I really like that grip, especially, you know, getting down dirty with it. You know, you got blood and everything else all over you. And it's able to hold on to it still. But when it comes to cleaning, that's kind of a pain to get everything out of all those little nooks and crannies. It took a little while, a little bit of brushing to get it cleaned back up. But... All in all, it is really impressive blade. Like I said, it's designed uh, Steve Johnson, Johnson Adventure Blades, and built by K Bar. And uh, if you're looking to purchase one of these, I do recommend it. Um, I'm thinking they're I've done a little bit of searching there a little bit ago, and you know, they're averaging about 
42 $45 online. And uh, I would highly recommend it if you're looking for a, uh, a hunting knife or a survival knife or, you know, something that's not really going to break you up too bad. And you definitely get your money's worth. Um, so I would uh, highly recommend purchasing it. I would buy it again. Um, but all in all, that's pretty much it, guys. So uh, thanks for watching. Uh, yeah, don't forget to like and subscribe and share and all that good stuff. And uh, see you guys later.